Hi guys, this is Elle from LivingEast.com and today we're going to talk about Rock and Republic jeans. You can buy them on eBay, you can buy them at Kohl's. I will talk about the jean that uh, has been out there for a long time that is going to be that nice heavy jean that is high quality, a really great deal which are um, not out there anymore it seems because when I typed on rockandrepublic.com I got redirected to Kohl's, which was like, what? But um, they seem to sell their jeans now at Kohl's for, I guess, $88, $89. Um, I've read that people said that they are not high quality anymore, So, but I know that there are people out there that want to buy a Rock of Republics from eBay, and uh, here is what you need to look for. First, I'm just going to tell you about the Victoria Beckham ones and then another style um, that was not done by Victoria Beckham. Um, but I'm going to tell you what you need to look for. In Victoria Beckham jeans, you need to pay close attention to the crowns on the back pockets. If these crowns are crooked, very small, um, not symmetrical, uh, if they look poorly stitched, if they um, go far across the stitching, the inside stitching of the pocket. They are not real. <laughs> they are simply not real. There are styles out there that have like um, bling bling on there. Um, if the bling bling is like missing on there, which is for every Rock and Republic jeans, they do not lose their bling bling because they are on there like God put them there. They're never going to fall off because God said so. So there is nothing that's going to make them fall off. Um, so if there is stuff missing, it's a good indicator that someone was really rough or um, they're just simply not real. So um, crowns need to fill the entire inside stitching of the pocket. Period, end of story. If that's not the case, you know, they need to be symmetrical. Sometimes there's a little bit of a difference, but like titsy tiny, and uh, this is never in a fashion that you go like, wow, someone wasn't wearing their glasses while they made those jeans, these jeans. So um, this one here has a darker blue appearance. It's a little shiny. It has a Victoria Beckham for Rock and Republic on there. And uh, this is a very um, symmetrical, like very clean, not crooked, sewed on uh, tag. Then I have a tag on the inside, shows the crown, says Victoria Beckham for Rock and Republic. And now our, this is actually the most important part. There can be, a, can be a tag like this in Rock and Republic jeans and this, sometimes only this. Um, but uh, it will say Rock and Republic and then it will say or digitally, digitally mastered in the USA. It's not going to be like made in the USA, it's going to be digitally mastered in the, in the USA. Then this will be always a boxy appearance. These, um, these numbers will never be like curvy or anything like that. They will be always boxy, 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 boxy. If you don't see boxy, not a real one. Then I have the security stitching, which is like a metal appearance. And when you put it under a magnifying glass, it will tell you a bunch of numbers and the style and stuff. If that's not the case, not a real one. The thing is, some are some fakers are very smart and, uh, and they put the stitching, but there's nothing on it. So have someone take a really good picture, a seller, a really good picture of this. You can't see on pictures what's written on there, but at least, you know, you can see if it's there at all because not very many fakes have it at all. Um, they, these tags are never shiny. They're always dull. And um, now for the buttons. The buttons are never shiny in a fashion and you go like, Phew. I need to get my sunglasses. And they're always like a dull appearance or um, like semi shiny, but never shiny, 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 shiny. Um, sorry, I'm talking so fast, but I really don't want you to sit there and go like, what's she talking about? Um, but I have another gene that I want to talk about. So, um, 
This is um, on the inside of uh, um, Rock and Roll Public Jeans. You have either an RR on the back side of the buttons or you have a swirly appearance. It's never like shiny flat or something. There's always either swirly or the R and R. So let's take a look at this one. This is the Roth. Um, very cute jean, very high quality. I love them. They are great for wearing high heels. They're very long, which brings us to the point. Rock and Republics have always an inseam of at least 34. There is no such thing like shorter styles. Like there's no 30, there's no 31. Um, if there is, if the listing says it, it should say specifically that they were hemmed. There is no such thing like they came from the, from the uh, designer like that. That's just not true and someone's lying to you. Very nasty. So um, the uh, buttons on every Rock and Republic, at least the older styles, are flat. Like there is no bump, no, lo no, no little thing, little knob, nothing. They are flat. These little, I don't know what you call them. I can know what you call them, I can't pronounce it, like R-E-V-E-T-S. Who cares? You know what I mean, right? Um, so Germans can't pronounce certain things, sorry. So, and uh, all these jeans always have, also the Victoria Beckham have one tag here on the side and one tag here. These are also uh, boxy R's, round R's, whatever R's that are not boxy are not going to be real. Um, this one particularly, I, I want to say something about the tags in and outside. Um, Rock and Republic, in my opinion, has never had a tag um, in this color with this writing, with white writing, it, that is this long and says Rock and Republic right next to each other. Every single time I look at them on uh, YouTube, or on, um, on uh, eBay, they just don't look real. Um, the, the entire appearance of the jeans isn't right, so I don't believe that that tag has ever existed because, oh my God, I'm out of focus. Um, um, I think those are fake. Um, if you know better, let me know. Just comment underneath this video. Um, what kind of style that was and how old it possibly is because Rock and Republic does change their tags. Um, the new ones, for example, have the inside tags have nothing to do with this. So I'm going to get another one in. Um, oh, before I forget, the washes. If the wash of the jean looks cheap to you, it's not a real, real uh, Rock and Republic. They have beautiful washes. Right? You, you're talking an expensive high-end jean, okay? There is no such thing like a cheap wash with Rockin' Republics. Um, so please pay attention because I don't want you to be like the, the joke of the party, you know? So I'm going to get another jean in. That is a Rockin' Republic with skulls on the back very much fake, like the Victoria Beckham, very, very much fake. I will uh, get also a true religion in, and um, I'm gonna make a video there to compare them a little bit, and I uh, will tell you a little bit about the skulls, all right? So um, I hope you found this helpful, and as always, way too long, but uh, there's so much to cover, and I really want you to buy real ones. Okay, uh, if you have questions, go to my blog. There is a blog post about it with pictures, um, of the tags so you can compare or send me an email whatever you'd like um, might just take me a while to answer okay thank you and check out my other videos and go to my blog bye